That's the bugger in question right there. Dry as a bone. New Delphi. Only about 17 bucks, if you can believe it. A couple of gaskets. Comes with it. Pretty straightforward. This goes inside the engine. This is what operates the fuel pump. That's what takes it from the gas tank and that puts it to the carburetor. So it goes around the engine like that. That's it. This is a lot easier than the last one I did because the fuel pump on my other Jeep is actually in the gas tank, which is part of the sending unit, which is a pain because you've got to drop the gas tank and pull it out of the gas tank. So this is old school, so this is an easy one. But it bolts right to the side of the engine, as you can see. This is the gas that goes to the carburetor. This is the gas in from the tank. So hopefully those bolts can come out without too much aggravation. Dry as a bone. Not getting an ounce of gas out of that. That screw up. I already soaked that in WD 40, so that shouldn't be too bad. Good example of a flare wrench, what you'd use a flare wrench for, because I put my half inch wrench over that nut that's holding the fuel line and wants to spin and round it off, but that should give it enough grip. We'll try that. Jesus, that is tight. Oh, got it. Hopefully. Yep. Yep. Quite neat. Actually, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh yeah, those come out nice and easy. Kind of wanted to do a little bit of a channel update on a few things. As you can see, well, you may have noticed that the videos have become I'm trying to upload. Uh, Two videos a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays, which is difficult, but managing to keep keep up with it. You now, the other thing we started doing was a podcast. My buddy Max and I started doing them. Hopefully, we're going to try to do one a month. We're going to try to do it at the beginning of the month, and the concept or the idea is... The idea being that... Whatever we talk about in the podcast will be that particular month, like if it's the beginning of September, we'll talk about bear season. And if it's the beginning of March, we'll talk about maple syrup. That sort of thing. A little target practice going on next door, no big deal. So that's kind of the idea of the podcast. You know, like I said, we're going to try to have uh, guests on that know a lot about one particular, you know, whatever we're talking about. We'll see how that goes. But that's the idea of the podcast, just to kind of cover the basis of what the YouTube channel kind of covers. I get asked a lot. People ask me, it's like, why do you do, why do you uh, have a YouTube channel? Good question. I don't know. I enjoy making videos, I know that. Uh, I like the creative side of it. It, uh, it keeps me out there doing the things I like to do. You know, like if I have a video, if I, I feel I should be releasing, you know, if I want to make a video, then it gets me out there to do whatever I'm actually doing, whether it's fishing or gathering sap or hunting or whatever, or putting a fuel pump in a Jeep Wrangler. But uh, I enjoy doing the videos. It's hard to put it, it's hard to explain exactly why, but other than the fact I enjoy it, uh, it's not for everybody. I'll say that. You gotta have thick skin once in a while. But hey, it is what it is, you know. Take the good with the bad. Uh, geez, I got big fingers. But again, you know, I've met a lot of good people through YouTube, through the community, uh, and through Instagram for that matter, actually. But um, I've developed, you know, at least a dozen. I, what I would consider really quality, lifelong friendships, or I plan on being friends with these people the rest of my life, or their life, whichever comes first. Bad joke. It. So yeah, there's a lot of positive to it. As I said, you know, there are some 
like anything with social media, there's a negative side to it, but you got to take the good with the bad and just let it roll off your back. Another thing about doing the videos is I get to work with my buddy Max, who's, um, we have a lot of fun putting the stuff together and coming up with ideas. It's, it's a lot of fun. Been, you know, we're doing, like I said, we just started doing the podcast, but I've, I've recently become very almost addicted to listening to podcasts. I listen to them on the road. I started off listening to The Meat Eater uh, with Steve Ranella, and I listen, to, I listen to his every week. And that kind of got me into the habit, but since then I've discovered a lot of other ones, a lot of other podcasts like uh, you know, Jack Mountain, which I've been on a few times. And uh, there's another one, East Meets West, which I just recently started listening to. And I enjoy that quite a bit. And that's East Meets West. <sighs> He's a pretty avid hunter. He's from Pennsylvania. Talks about what it takes to go out and hunt, you know, backcountry and stay in shape and so forth. And that seems to be kind of a trend now, too. People are becoming more or less wilderness athletes, which is something I like this. I like, I like the sound of both wilderness and being an athlete, which it's a win-win. Like I say, just to round it up, I mean, that's what we're doing. We're trying to release more videos, uh, keep better content on uh try to make the try to make the videos more interesting to watch through editing and um, stuff like that um, and uh you know matt max is really really good and helpful with that obviously that's his forte that's a good good example of people working together you know max i have a great time working with max making uh doing the videos and coming up with new ideas for editing and so forth and you know he's really good with that sort of thing and i've learned a lot from him uh, to say the least. I'm still learning. Just an example of how we all really need to work together and kind of work along the same same lines. You learn a lot more working with someone than you do against them. Life lesson right there. Come on. Why is that sucker? Right up. This thing's 30 years old, so I can understand why it's stuck together. WD-40. WD-40 will fix any. What was it the old man said? WD-40 and duct tape. WD-40 for when something won't move, and duct tape for something that's not supposed to move, or something like that. I know I don't go home. I don't leave home without either one of them. So. Also, uh, as I mentioned I'm going to put a new fuel filter on because why wouldn't you? Again, this stuff is so nice to work on because it's because first of all you can't, as opposed to the new stuff that's just impossible. Got a dry fuel line. Hear that? Much better. Good old six cylinder, in line six. I don't know why they stopped making those engines. They work so good, just having the six cylinders right in a row instead of the V. You know, the, like a V6 or V8. This engine was unstoppable. But for some reason, they deemed it unnecessary or inefficient or God knows what. But the bottom line is I just replaced the fuel pump. It cost me $17 and about an hour's worth of time while yakking on a video camera. That's uh, that's the way life should be. You know, shouldn't have to call, uh, you know, it shouldn't be uh, scientific every time your car breaks down. You should be able to fix it. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. All right, so that was it. The uh, that was the YouTube channel update. So uh, let's wrap it up. We're gonna do two videos a week, cover the same subjects that we have been all along. You know, with the fishing, foraging, hunting, that sort of thing. The podcast is new, as I mentioned. I'm trying to keep good content on Instagram and you know run a business in the meantime, which is in case you know, as you can imagine, is challenging enough as it is. But anyway, this is this is what I like to do. So this is what I do. Anyway. That's it. Yeah. Thirty years old. She's done her time. Time to go to the great fuel pump graveyard in the sky, I guess. <laughs>